Hi, welcome to Vlogmas episode four. Today I am super excited for this little stash busting project we're gonna do together. We are gonna make little holiday ornaments. So come with me and I'll show you how to do it. Let's talk about the supplies you're gonna need to make these ornaments. You're gonna need the pattern. So I've gone ahead and made some pattern pieces for you that you can download at workroomsocial.com and um, you can use these to make your ornaments. You're also welcome to totally freehand your own styles. Maybe a cute Christmas tree. You're gonna need some fabric. Scraps are best. So I recently made a looper quilt and I have some extra fabric from that project. I'm gonna be using that to make my ornaments. You will need some stuffing. So craft stuffing for like dolls or pillows. Last, you're gonna need thread and tools. So scissors, pins, sewing machine, anything that you're gonna need to, you know, put this thing together. To start, grab your scissors and your patterns. Pick the ornaments you want to make and cut out those patterns. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make our textile. We're gonna take the fabric scraps that we have in whatever shape and size, and we're just gonna sew them together. I'm gonna do strips. You could also do squares or triangles or whatever shape you want. We're gonna make our pieces of fabric big enough to cut out two of our shapes. So the ornaments are made with a front piece and a back piece. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is, this is a little, a little bit of a side behind the scenes. Uh, my fabric is a little creased, so I need to iron it. And I'm up on the cutting table, which also is a giant ironing board to do that. You know, I just climbed up here. Why not? pressing in the winter. It gets pretty chilly in our house and it's kind of nice to hover over the steam. Okay, I think I am good enough, so let's get to cutting. You can get creative with this part. What I'm going to do is take the scraps that I have and I'm just gonna cut thick strips. Um, before I do that, I'm just gonna fold the fabric in half. So, I don't know an inch to an inch and a half. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of winging it. Mm. Okay, and now it's time to sew. Take the strips and sew them together to create the textile that you're gonna use to cut our pattern pieces out of for the ornament. Each textile just needs to be big enough to cut out the pattern pieces. And remember, you need to cut out two. Now that we've sewn all of those strips together and I'm doing all the ornaments, so I have a bunch of textile pieces, it's time to press them. Now I've gone ahead and pressed all of my seam allowances just to one side, so you can see here. So our textile piece now is really nice and flat. You can press them open if it suits you better, whatever you like. But the whole point is you just want these guys nice and flat. I've got my textile pieces here. They're all nice and flat. The next thing we're gonna do is cut out our pattern piece from the textile that we created. Remember, cut two. Now that we have our ornaments all cut out, I'm gonna take all of these scraps that um, are from the cutting of the ornaments and I'm just gonna put them aside. I actually think they'll be really good to use for the stuffing inside the ornaments. So we're just gonna shove those aside for a second and the next thing we need to do is cut some bias strips. Make your bias strips between an inch and an inch and a half wide. We're going to press them folded in half before we sew it all up. 
I am going to freehand my bias strips, but feel free to use a rotary cutter to be more precise. Once you have all of your bias strips cut, go ahead and take them and you're going to fold them in half and press. Okay, so we have our ornament front and back pieces cut. Here's the heart, so cute. And we have our bias strips cut, folded, and pressed. It's time to put it all together. So we're gonna use our bias strips that we made to add a little bit of fringe to the ornaments. So to do this, you're gonna take one of your ornament pieces, right side up, take the binding, you're gonna take the folded edge, line it up with the raw edge of one of, of the piece right side up. And we're going to cut the binding short of the edges here. And then you're gonna take the binding and you're gonna lay it on the other side. And again, cut it short and on the last side. Now this technique goes for the triangle ornament, the square ornament, and the heart ornament. But since the circle ornament is just round, there are no edges. So when you put the binding on the circle, you're just gonna go all the way around. Once you've got this set up, you'll take your other piece of the ornament right side down, so right sides are touching, and then we are going to pin this together and take it to the sewing machine to sew. Okay, let's sew this thing. So we're gonna sew around all three sides, but we're gonna leave a hole right here at the bottom so that we can turn the ornament right side out when we're done and so we can stuff it. All right, let's turn this thing right side out. Before we do, I'm gonna come in and just trim back the corners here. All right, now we can turn our ornament. Grab a point turner or something to push out those corners. Now, before we stuff this, if your binding is not even or to your liking, you can come in now while it's flat and trim it down a little. So I'm noticing that this side is much skinnier than this side. So I'm gonna just come in and trim this a little bit. And that looks better to me. All right, now we're gonna stuff this thing. To stuff it, we're going to use our scraps from earlier. I'm gonna start just by cutting them into sort of littler pieces to make it a little easier to get inside the ornament. Once you have all of your scraps ready, you're just gonna stuff them into the ornament. Now to close this, you can either hand stitch this shut or go to the machine to stitch it. We're almost done. The last thing that we need to do, uh, two things. We need to put a hanger on the top of the ornament and we're gonna zhuzh up the fringe on, on this guy. And you know, I called it a triangle ornament, but actually it kind of looks like a little Christmas tree. So, all right, so I took some of that bias binding and I just pressed it together so that the raw edges are turned to the inside and I cut it short. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm not good at this autofocus thing yet. Okay, so I'm just folding it over like that and then I'm just going to hand stitch it onto the top of our ornament like this. Okay, here we are. Here's our little triangle ornament. The last thing you can do before you're done with all of your ornaments is you can just take your fingers and kind of rough up the edges of the bias a little bit so they are a little fluffy and a little fringy. And then you can just go grab your little uh, ornament hook and hang it on your tree. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Vlogmas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this one and many, many more. If you make these really cute ornaments, be sure to tag me. Use hashtag workroom social ornament and um, on Instagram, I'm at workroom social. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.